you know Beezus? Do you know? The Queen Bee? Do you know? Do you really know the Queen of Slay? Yance? Yance? Whatever you choose to call her, most people know her as the Houston, Texas-born singer, Beyonce Knowles. But not only is she a hair-flipping, eight-count-hitting megastar, she does it all by way of her business ventures. The world was first introduced to Beyonce back in November of 1997 when the now multi-platinum Grammy award-winning R&B group Destiny's Child debuted their hit single, No No No. Since then, Beyonce has gone on to make what some might say a pretty notable name for herself. With titles like the most nominated woman in Grammy history with 52 nominations attached to her name, as well as her own Vegas residency at the Wynn Hotel and Casino, it's pretty safe to say that the reign of Beyonce will influence performers for decades to come. But at Music ID TV, our goal is to inspire artists through the spirit of business. And though it's easy to be distracted by her captivating performances and catchy hooks, when it comes to business, Beyonce is no shy businesswoman. Back in 2006, she took a bite out of the entrepreneurial apple when she debuted her clothing line, House of Darion, in collaboration with her mother, Miss Tina Lawson. My mother and I have a clothing line together, and it's called House of Darion. I was really adamant about not just putting my name on a brand and it not being clothes that my mother designed. We named the line House of Darion because it's my grandmother's maiden name. It's the house my mother learned to sew. It was just something that was natural for my mother and I because she's a natural designer and she literally designed all of our clothes. There are reports that the House of Darion went on hiatus back in 2012. And when we checked out their website and Facebook page, those reports kind of seem to be true. But like any entrepreneur, your first venture will always teach you some hard knock lessons that can only be learned from taking action. And Beyonce surely applied those lessons when she set out on her next business venture in 2008, starting her own entertainment and management company, Parkwood Entertainment. All right, I'm Beyonce and I'm the president. <laughs> showing once again that business is a major priority to her as an artist. When I decided to, to manage myself, it was important that I didn't go to some big management company. I felt like, you know, I wanted to follow the footsteps of Madonna and be a powerhouse and have my own empire and show other women, when you get to this point in your career, you don't have to go sign with someone else and share your money and your success. You do it yourself. And now in 2016, as we are recording this video in 2016, Parkwood Entertainment is still soaring, delivering the highly anticipated Lemonade album, as well as the visual album premiered on HBO in April of this year. Not to mention Parkwood's success of the groundbreaking surprise release of the singer's self-titled Beyonce album, which also included a visual album version back in 2013. This undoubtedly motivated the music industry to change the release day of music during the week from Tuesdays to Fridays and also make the release available worldwide to help prevent piracy. Looks like Beyonce's Parkwood Entertainment is having a major effect on the music industry as a company. Now, Parkwood Entertainment has extended their antennas beyond the music industry and is even jumping back into the clothing business. The company partnered with Top Shop, forming Parkwood Top Shop Athletic Ltd. back in 2014 and presented their first line Ivy Park to the market in 2016. Now, Ivy Park has come under fire with some reports coming out about the line's manufacturing process. The Fashion Law blog posted an article with the headline, Beyonce's Ivy Park collection is being made in sweatshops. Beyonce's team released a statement saying Ivy Park has a rigorous ethical trading program. We are proud of our sustained efforts in terms of factory inspections and audits, and our teams worldwide work very closely with our suppliers and their factories to ensure compliance. Beyonce didn't stop in 2016 with the release of her sixth studio album, Lemonade, and the launching of Ivy Park. She went on to put her money where her mouth is, literally. I've been drinking watermelon. I've been drinking watermelon. 
Yes, Beyonce not only has been drinking watermelon, she wants us all to drink it too. In 2016, it was revealed that Beyonce invested in the cold pressed juice company appropriately named Watermelon Water. On why she invested in watermelon water, Beyonce told Bloomberg.com, I invested in watermelon water because it's the future of clean natural hydration. As partners, we share a simple mission to deliver accessible wellness to the world. She went on to say this is more than an investment in a brand. It's an investment in female leaders, fitness, American farmers, and the health of people and our planet. In a Fortune.com article, Watermelon Water co-founder and creative director Jody Levy said Beyonce had joined the company's investor pool in a recent capital raise, but wouldn't disclose to Fortune how big her stake is. Along with her other business escapades, light title, and perfume lines, to name a few, Beyonce continues to display her art through solid entrepreneurial efforts. Definitely something to take note of to all aspiring artists out there. The queen of slay? Beezus? The queen bee? Do you know? Beezus? Do you know? Do you really know? Do you know? The queen bee? The queen of slay? Yance. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you really know? 